Space Channel 5, Kinda Funky News Flash, is the VR reimagining of the classic 1999 Dreamcast rhythm game of the same name. It casts you as a fledgling reporter who uses the power of dance to protect Earth from an alien invasion. Set your nostalgia to stun and dust off your dancing shoes because this news flash is definitely a bit funky. You begin the game as the newest recruit to Space Channel 5 and are taken under the wing of veteran reporter Ula La, who shows you the ropes of dance-based journalism. No sooner has she started putting you through a series of basic moves when you are interrupted by breaking news. Aliens have invaded the planet and are holding people hostage. Only you and your intrepid co-reporter can get to the bottom of this. You dance break. This storyline will see you face four levels of increasingly nonchalant shuffling as you try to stop the evil-ish Marolians from stealing all of Earth's room boxes. You'll also find yourself inadvertently rescuing a previously unmentioned space princess. Cool. Along the way, you'll meet new characters whose appearance, dialogue, and relevance to the main plot will leave you scratching your head in confusion. But don't worry about any of that. You're here to dance. In the simplest of terms, Space Channel 5 has not come to revolutionize the way you view dance rhythm games in VR. In fact, Space Channel 5 has not come to revolutionize anything at all. The evil space meanies will perform a series of moves in sequence, which you will then have to mirror back in time with the beat. This core loop will make up 100% of your game time. The excellent Dance Central has you cutting shapes and busting moves which actually have roots in modern street dance. Space Channel 5, however, will have you feeling like you're doing the dance equivalent of karaoke to John Travolta's seminal routine in Saturday Night Fever. The challenge doesn't come in the form of carrying out particularly difficult moves, but in the ability to memorize and repeat increasingly complicated strings of simple ones. The actual dancing itself has more in common with another outstanding rhythm game, O-Shape, than it does with the more traditional dance games. Once you start the game, you are issued with your first costume, complete with full body IK, and it's apparent early on that I, a 40-year-old man, am not the target audience for this game. The arms, at full extension, feel like they stop just past the wrist, and the IK comes complete with breasts that seem to grow directly out of your chin. I am aware that this game is targeting a much younger and therefore physically smaller audience. Still, for anyone above 4 foot 5, this all creates a strange disconnect with your character. Graphically, Space Channel 5 is bright and vibrant, but lacks any level of depth or polish that one might expect from a VR game in 2020. The character animations are appallingly stilted for a game which centers itself around rhythm, and the dancers demonstrate all the fluidity and grace of a toddler whose lower half is made of Lego. In fact, the dance animations all look worse than the Dreamcast original, and remind me of the animations from the earliest version of The Sims. This lack of visual refinement is made even starker as the characters offer no connection to the world in which they reside. No shadows or textures of any sort exist to ground them, and as a result, all the dancers just seem to float at floor level. They look like they've been copy-pasted in as part of some rushed college animation project, rather than as part of a polished quest title. The sound in Space Channel 5 is the comparative highlight of the game, although that's really not saying much. The music is the type of aimlessly catchy computer game music from the late 90s that, while not offensive, is really not good enough to carry a rhythm game. If you had any thoughts of finding a favorite song to jam out to, you might want to put that notion aside rather quickly. Each level consists of a single track that changes tempo according to which part of the level you reach, but there is nothing as refined as a song select. The sound effects are a bog-standard, low-effort affair that seem to have been recycled directly from the original for the sake of nostalgia. Outside of a few little chimes and tinkles that tell you you've completed the move correctly, there's not much else going on. The menu music sounds like you're trapped in some kind of hellish theme park hotel elevator, and the menu sounds are the sort of thing you'd expect to hear coming out of a futuristic Japanese toilet. The same can be said for the voice acting. When it comes to content, Space Channel 5 is just as maddeningly empty as it is in every other metric. There is the story mode, which consists of four levels that I completed on the first run in about 30 minutes. 
Once completed, these can then be selected individually, should you be masochistic enough to wish to play them again. There's also an arcade mode. However, this appears to be just the same four levels without the ability to lose. There's even an alternate arcade mode which features identical gameplay, but is presented by a Japanese-speaking host and what appears to be a group of dancing Oompa Loompas. Unfortunately, or perhaps fortunately, this is just a single level. There's even a trial dance mode which consists of the 100 dance battle! You may want to quell that rising excitement. This mode is essentially just 10 levels, each of which introduces an even more annoying pose to perform on repeat for two minutes. Whilst the 100 dance battle sounds promising, I was able to beat it in 12 minutes, and two of those minutes were spent screaming into the void. Thankfully, I finished this mode just before I lost the will to live. Other content stretching features include a dressing room that allows you to select from 13 different pre-made outfits, a friendopedia, which gives you a short and utterly pointless biography of the various background characters, and a calorie counter. Other than that, there's nothing. No difficulty settings, no variant game modes, no ability to skip through the endless dialogue, nothing. I was able to complete everything that this game has to offer twice in just over 90 minutes. Space Channel 5 Kinda Funky News Flash feels out of place in the Quest Library. It contributes very little to an already crowded genre, and yet manages to somehow underachieve in every conceivable way. From lazy graphics, to boring dance moves, and an aggravating plotline, Space Channel 5 manages to stand out only by virtue of just how bad it is. Unless you happen to be a massive fan of the original game, who is willing to shell out £19 on nostalgia alone, I would stay well clear of this one. With an array of incredible rhythm games out there, you'd be much better off playing Dance Central or Synth Riders if you really want to feel like a groove master. Appalling 3 if you like Sixed Off reviews and want to stay up to date with all of our latest videos, click the subscribe button. Don't forget to like this video, even though I didn't like this game. Go ahead and press like. I'll wait. Stay tuned, everyone.